name's Alan Weinkrantz. I'm from San Antonio. Uh, I'm with James Bremen Associates. We're an advisory services firm, okay. market intelligence firm, focused on the Internet of Things. Perfect. Um, uh, last week, I saw you on Charlie Rose, and you were talking about knowledge and biology. And where do you think IoT plays into, if you will, biology, especially in the context of where we are here in Israel? Well, there's a lot of startups here that are looking at sort of the essentially the biology phone interface of all probiotics. Um, it's been known for a long time that you could attach things to our bodies that would Wi-Fi out what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. And there's an awful lot of evidence that transdermal monitoring, literally a health watch, if you will, whatever you want to call that, a band, so forth and so on, could provide material health benefits. Uh, there's also a lot of people who are using traditional, they're trying to data mine the use of phones. So, for example, did you use it in the same way? And there is quite a bit of evidence now that, for example, teenagers who become depressed use their phones differently. Hmm. Makes sense, right? Their, their life patterns change. So there's evidence that the phone is a, if you will, and you're modeling this at the moment, is a, <laughs> uh, is, is, is a sort of a, 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 a way of understanding your life and how you operate. And again, with your permission and all sure. that, we can provide very material health benefits from that. There are also projects looking at mental health, right? Can we look at the way you use your phone and detect early mental disease, anxiety, and so forth and so on? There are people who believe that that's possible. Thank you, and welcome to Israel.